You guys, we have finally met our brand new boat and we couldn't be more excited. After watching our 12-ton sailboat dangling by a crane and getting knocked around by 40-knot winds, she safely touched the sea and she stayed afloat, thank goodness. It wasn't easy to watch in person, but if you missed it, you can test your anxiety levels by checking it out on our previous episode. During this episode, you'll see we have a lot of learning to do with Lasai, but first, we have to get this sexy vessel to the Can Boat Show. Our journey from Civitavecchia, Italy to Cannes, France was roughly 230 nautical miles and it took us 36 hours to sail. This was John and I's first time sailing a catamaran ever and during this two-day passage, this was our only time to learn everything we needed to know before sailing her on our own. Our buddy Jay from the balance team showed us how to put up the sails, taught us all about our rigging system, and explained all of the technology on the boat, including nav systems, helm systems, integral, deck gear, as well as the solar and energy units. Our situation was a little uncommon because after the week-long boat show, John and I are heading to Spain for a family trip for two and a half weeks. So we get a boat, we learn her in two days, we ditch her for three weeks, then come back to her. Just the two of us. Will we retain all of that knowledge? Will we know what the heck we're doing when we get back? Stick with us to find out. So we've been on our way to Con France um, from Civitavecchia and it's been a handful of hours right now it's a 10 30 ish and Jay is on watch we've been going roughly um, like seven ish seven and a half knots but we are motor sailing the swells are kind of crazy not like not huge just about like a meter and wind gusts are their parents around like 14 and 12 so we have the main sail up one glass has already shattered that's why we don't have glass on the boat it's okay we had some beans for dinner <laughs> and uh john and i are gonna go to bed because he's got to wake up at 1 a.m to do his watch me yeah i'm Oops. so excited <laughs> He's gonna wake up at one and then he's gonna wake me up and I'm the four o'clock. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but at least I'll have like the sun rising. But it's been cool. I don't know if I've ever set my alarm for 1 a.m. before. <laughs> We've never really done like a watch system. You know, on our old boat we would just sleep. Wake up every 40 minutes. Yeah, we both would just sleep up there. Um, it was right next to the helm and it was actually very comfy. And we would just sleep and kind of just wake up whenever, check, look around, and then go back to sleep. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Alright, this is the first night on watch. It's a beautiful night out right now. I went to bed, the sky was full of stars. Milky Way was out. It was just billions of tiny, teeny tiny little lights out there. Um, but I came upstairs after getting a little snooze and the moon is out. It's beautiful in its own right and also really good for nighttime sailing because it kind of lights up anything that could be in our way. They're asleep now. I'll be watching for the next three hours or so and then I will go wake one of them up for the morning watch and they can take it from there. But I'm wide awake. This is awesome. I'm super happy with the boat. Um, it's just a beautiful vessel and I can't wait to um, get around the corner of the northern corner of Corsica and head towards Cannes because I think the wind will be more favorable for us to get up the sails. Uh, we're kind of motor sailing at the moment right now because time is of the essence. We have to get her to the show and get her spruced up. And I'll just be looking at the stars for the next three hours. This is awesome. I am 
very happy and very awake right now, even though it might not look like it. Very awake. We just reached about halfway. We went into a little marina in Corsica to fuel up on water and get a few more um, things for dinner. We didn't expect to be sailing for two nights, so, but we left later. Oof, it is pumping. We were rocking. We're on our way to go do the second leg. We're going to go around the island of Corsica, the um, northern part, and then we will put up the sails and head toward um, like Monaco. So we'll see how that goes. We should get to Con France. Ooh. We should get to Con France um, about tomorrow morning. We'll be fine. It's really cool that we've been able to sail the boat, um, put up all the sails. Earlier this morning, we were going eight knots under full sail with only 12 knots of wind. So uh, that was really, really cool. It was beautiful. And it was like right when the sun was rising. So as we go on, hopefully we get beautiful weather. The swells are swelling, so uh, hopefully that goes down. But we'll see. Here's our Our first sail aboard La Sai has been so special to us. She has really proven her strengths and we couldn't be more certain that we chose the right boat for our new summer home. We heard her roar and we felt her cut through water like nobody's business. We took everything in while watching the stars lighten up the night sky. Time seemed to fly right by us as we arrived to Cannes, France just two days before the show. There's a con boat show all set up. And then there's all these boats getting ready to rumble. There's Darwin. Oh, how cool. There is a lot of boats, and that's not even all of them. There's gonna be like 600 and something boats here. John's learning how to drive. <laughs> like this so we just did 240 mile nautical mile sail from Civitavecchia to Khan. we arrived in Khan at 4 30 this morning we left at like two ish a few days ago so I think it was about um 24 like 35 hours total um between three of us Jay John and me Jay and we got here and we just anchored up and it's beautiful there's so many boats here, big old mega yachts, nice sailboats, giant like 100 foot sailboats. And then there's amazing average sized catamarans that are just as beautiful. But Jay said it's tradition when we get somewhere after a little crossing to crack a beer, no matter what time it is. So it's uh, 11.30 and we're having a beer to celebrate. This is awesome. Just learning um, the boat and kind of comparing it to the monohull that we've had. There's a lot of things that just make sailing so much more comfortable and easier. Um, for example, our, we have a chain counter. <laughs> we didn't have a chain counter on Roaming Rose. Um, and then we have a bridle already like built into the boat, which is nice. So we set that up, learned how to do that. John's learning the double engines. I'll learn that later. I'll let John teach me, but there's a lot of boats out here, so I'm going 
gonna let the boys do that until I'm out in the open <laughs> practicing. But we can't get into our spot for the boat show until tomorrow, so we're gonna head into town, check it out. It looks really cool, it looks very busy. Very, very busy. It's just all hotels and beach. I'm excited. This is awesome. It really is. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. Everyone's talked about how the south of France is gorgeous and they would love to go there. They'd go back there. And it's pretty cool to be a part of this major boat show. You know. I didn't really know what to expect, but it feels pretty special that our boat gets to be a part of it on day four of being in the water, so it's impressive. We have a pretty badass boat, I must say. How's she looking? Let me get a video of you. You look funny right now. <laughs> As we were finding out, getting a brand new boat comes with a lot of setting up and cleaning, especially when it was shipped through the Sahara Desert. After we claim our slip, we work to make Lasai shine and show ready as we finish up just in time for another beautiful sunset on the French Riviera. boat show which is in a few days look at that how beautiful <laughs> Uh, my nice. head. After a long day, worth it. The more she's the merrier. <laughs> oh yeah, there's already a big ball of cheese. The Cannes Yachting Festival has been held every September since 1977. It's Europe's largest in-water boat show with over 700 boats on display. John and I mostly hung out on the sailboat side of the event, exploring a handful of the newest catamarans and monoholes which we had never seen before. We had our eyes on the Privilege 580, Outremer 55, and the Neil 47 Trimaran. But at the end of the day, we kept coming back to our Balance 442, making us more excited and proud to say that she was ours. It was a great festival and we look forward to being a part of the La Grande Motte Boat Show in April 2024. Here is a sneak peek of La Sai in supermodel mode, all clean, shiny, and tidy.
If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to follow along our journey. Till next time, Tipsy Crew. She is a beaut. Oh yeah. That is a gorgeous boat. It's not the biggest boat. It's not the biggest, <laughs> but it's Look practical, it. man.